Guys, it's almost addicted here, and today I've got a really cool house for you guys. It's a modern, sleek, really small. It fits in a 10 times 10, and yeah, let's take a little look. So as you can see, I've gone and tried to make this house as unique and cool as possible. Uh, hopefully, nobody's done a house like this. It uh, looks different, looks cool, and it's got some cool features on the inside. And this button does something right at the end, so I will press that and I'll show you what it does. But you guys, slap that like button. Let's get at least one like on this video. That's all I ask for, just like one like. And, and a few comments. Just comments are getting really sparse, you know. It's sparse. That's not even a word. I am sparser. I am a spark. Ah, what? Right, let's build this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's my life become. Right, so let's make. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, it's a lorry backing up. Right, guys, so let's make this house. Right, so we're going to start off by going like this, digging two out and putting one inside, and this is going to go over by four and then down like that. So we should have a shape like that, and we have got. A black stained glass, if you don't want to use the black stained glass, you don't have to. And then we're going to go diagonal like this, like that. And we're going to go, that's one, two, three, four. And then we're going to put two at the side, another two at the side like that. And we can actually run this going up like that. Now we're going to go to this side here, over here. And then we're going to go diagonal out. Do exactly the same as what we've done. So we're going to put in those two there. Um, but you don't have to put these here. You don't have to use the black stained glass. I just think it looks quite cool. Uh, it's a diff definitely a different look from uh, most other houses, so uh, yeah, it's just something different I guess. Now we're going to get the stone at the side here, and we're going to go up by, that's two lots, two lots of two, three lots of two, four lots of two. And then we're going to go all the way over to this side, and do it like this. So it should be diagonal out, and then these should join together, like this. Do you know what I'm saying? brother and then what we're going to do across the top here this is going to go out like this and across making sure it's overlapping by one either side and it should tuck into this like this as you can see so on the inside you should have like a rim running all the way around and um, you just fill those little bits in as you can see let's fill that bit in and what we're going to do is we're actually going to trace across here trace across here and then we are going to get our spruce wood, one, two, three, like that. And we're going to go back by one, two, three, one, two, three, and then an extra one to kind of slot that in. We can actually put our glass panes at the top and the rest of it, we can kind of fill in just so we got the roof. Now you can put this wherever you'd like. Uh, what we're going to do here, I thought this might be quite a cool idea by getting our furnaces, we can still use them from the inside. If we put them on the outside, we can make it part of the design, which I thought was quite a good idea. And um, then I'm going to get some stairs and curl them around like this. And what I did on the very top here, where we've got the furnaces on top, I just put stone and then I put two lots of cobblestone like that. And it's kind of like a little chimney that's coming from there. I just thought it was quite a good idea. I liked the look of it, thought it was good. So yeah, now we're going to go like this, one, two, three. And then we're going to obviously make a doorway there, place a block there, place a block there, and we can actually place a glass block in there. And what I did, as you can see, I've got some bushes for this little bit. Got some bushes going around here. And um, you can actually have this trailing round to that point there. And um, makes it look good. And round to here, I think I did it round to that point there. Yeah, I did it round to that point. Now, uh, what I did for this bit here, I got iron bars, but if you don't want to use the iron bars, you don't have to. Um, you could use glass, um, because when the glass is not joined together, it looks all right. So we're going to get some carpets, and we're going to get some string as well. And this is to hold the carpets up, so it's kind of like a little gazebo. Uh, so what I did here is I went one, two, so it's two away from that one. One, two. So we should have a two gap there, and a two gap there. Now we can put our carpet on top of here, one there, and one there. And obviously we're going to have to get our string to make this work. One, two, and then against this wall, we're going to have to go one against here. One, two, three, four, and then another two, three, four, like that. 
Um, I didn't actually put it out that far, but um, this is just making the gazebo a little bit extra. Just making sure you can put everything on, making sure all your strings like that, and you've got like a little outhouse like this. Now what I did um, to decorate it, I just got some half slabs. And you can put the water sources wherever you'd like. So if you wanted this going all the way across here, like this, and then you wanted maybe it going to this point and having like a little pool in this direction. So you have a little pool in maybe this area. You could expand it out a bit more. If you wanted to come out the 10 by 10, you can expand it a bit more, dig all that out, and then you can put your infinity water source so you can actually use this in survival. And then all I did is obviously put the bucket of water in there like that. And you can kind of trim it round however you like. So say if you wanted underneath this little bit, I got a bit of jungle wood. You could use some acacia wood. You could use whatever wood you like, but three lots. We could carry on with this. We could even stop it at this point, like this. Like that, you know? Um, as you can see at this side, I put a little plant pot. So you can put plant pots going round. I'll just change this time real quickly, just so we get it nice and bright. I've got two plant pots on the outside there and I've got this trail running all the way around. Now on the inside here, what I did is I put oak on the floor. Now for the decorations and stuff, you can kind of do whatever you like. I would probably do something like this. So you can, but it's still got usable space there. You could maybe even at the bottom, put your chest side to side. You could put your chest here and stuff, like up the side of it. You can put your brewing stands here as well. So let's get some brewing stands, brew in stands. And we can actually put them there next to uh, these furnaces and still use the furnaces at the back, which is quite cool. So that's a lot of space there that we've kind of utilized. And then we've got our bed here. And then put our bed right at the side here. So we've got a nice little sleeping place there. You can even put some chests at the top, making it look nice and sleek. And then at the side here, you can maybe put something like this and put your enchantment table or whatever you'd like. You'd obviously need your crafting table. You can kind of uh, do whatever you like with this one. Maybe you want to dig down here and put a level 30 enchantment so you just get a trap door or something. Get a trap door and obviously put um, a ladder going down there and you can put an underground base underneath here. And maybe just stick a crafting table at the side. You can put some paintings. You can light it up with a little bit of torches and stuff. But I kind of wanted to keep this nice and simple. I've got a nice big suburban house coming soon and a huge modern house. So definitely get subscribed ready. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a little bit of a different house, a little bit more of a sleek design, I would say. Um, but let me show you. Yeah, I've got a suburban house over there that's coming soon. I don't know. There we go. Boom. That's quite cool. So that's coming soon. And this one as well. I don't know if you'd want that one. It's just a mess around one. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you later. I'm almost addicted. I really do appreciate appreciate every single one of you guys that come to my channel and subscribe, like, and do everything. And leave me ratings on the videos because it really helps me uh, grow as a YouTuber and um, a person, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Right, I'll catch you later. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> you thought I forgot and didn't you? Well, look at this, right. Now when we press the button, get ready for this one. It's gonna be a stinker. Oh. Never gonna be